Today we're going to make a video to counter my previous video about capturing your Android screen with a capture card. And today it's about how to do it without a capture card. So follow me along with all the steps. Let's go. Step number one is that we have to enable USB debugging on our phone. The way to do it might be different from one phone to another but I will show you how to do it on my on my particular phone which is Pocophone F1 so we go to settings and we find about phone first what we need to do is we open this uh, developer setting segment by clicking on build number seven times one two three four five six seven I am actually already a developer so you can see that the toast notification is saying that I'm already a developer. Then you move to your system setting, find developer option, and you click enable on this USB debugging right here. Uh, for me, it's already enabled. And for you, what you need to do, usually if, if you never access this part of your phone before, it's it will be disabled. And all you need to do is click on it and it will be enabled. Once you do this, you're good to go to step number two. So step number two, you have to go to your browser. I will put the links down below. So you need to download this universal ADB driver. All you need to do is click download and click open and install the universal ADB driver. Uh, no fuss. And once you do that, let's move on to the third step. So here we are on the third step. The third step requires you to go to this GitHub page. Uh, it's a program called SCRCPY. I'm not sure what it stands for, but so all you need to do is find the latest release of this SCRCPY. On the date that I make this video, the latest release is 1.13. We click on it. We go all the way to the bottom of the page and there will be some download links and you can choose according to your windows system i am using windows 64 bit so i click this one and i go download and that it that's all for the third step after you download it you might it's a it's a zip file so you might extract it to wherever you want uh, put it in your desktop your documents or whatever Okay, now we have to go to the step number four. I'm opening my my desk screen. The step number four is a little bit physical, so you can see what's happening uh, on my desk. What you need to do is very simple. Find your USB cable, connect it with your PC, and uh, plug it onto your phone. So after you connect your phone with the cable, uh, I will try to show you if you did all the steps correctly, you will find this notification saying that USB debugging connected. It means that you are, it means that it's, it is working. Now we're getting to the last step. Okay. So for the last step, all you need to do is find where you extracted your SDR CPY. For me, it's, uh, it's on the desktop right here. Uh, please take note that your phone is supposed to be still connected to the cable. And you open the scrcpy folder, find this scrcpy.exe and double click on it. Boom. You have your Android screen on your PC. Now what you need to do is open your OBS you add source and find window capture and you add that Pocophone uh, window to your OBS sources. So that's it guys, that's the way I do it uh, if I want to stream uh, my Android gameplay without a uh, capture card. There is a disadvantage of doing this and but there's also some good counter advantage. You do it this way compared to do it with the capture card. First advantage is that you will have no clutter of cable on your desk because it will be very clean. All you need to do is one USB cable to connect your PC to your phone and that's it. The second advantage of doing this is also you will save lots of money by just um, casting your screen with this uh, method without a capture card. But the 
there is a disadvantage of doing this way also. The first disadvantage is that the image quality is not as good as using capture card. It's night and day, yeah, if I have to say. The image quality of using capture card is super good, but using this way is, I have to say, it's... If I have to put a score using a capture card, you might get 10, but this way you will get about five four six so it's but it it is workable if you want to stream a game without without lots of movement for example like a card game hearthstone it's very much workable but once you play high movement games such as PUBG, it will be struggling for sure so those are the advantages and disadvantages of doing this way so that's it i think uh you guys might try by yourself and decide which way to go you might try the capture card and you might try this uh, without capture card and compare it yourself uh, please let me know what you think and leave your comment down below so that's it for me and see you on my next video bye